Welcome to my channel. I'm Viva Glaze. If you're new here, consider subscribing, clicking on the notification bell so you know each and every time I come on to here, okay? The reason I'm introducing myself, normally I don't in the beginning of my videos, but I thought I don't normally do male related perfume videos. Many of you may be new here. I don't know. Anybody is welcome to come and watch. Today, I am sharing with you some of the perfumes that I've probably smelt, um, tried in store, or have smelt on a man and thought were just amazing. Um, some scents I have never smelt on a man, but envision them to smell amazing. I tend to like more masculine scents on men, and you know there's different types. There's like clean scents, there's more sweet scents, you know, there's oud-based scents, there's all kinds of perfumes um, that are suitable for men to wear. I will also share some of them that I own that are unisex, but I think if worn in a man would smell amazing as well. I'm so excited to be making this video. Um, I just think it's gonna be super fun. It's definitely something very new on my channel, but I see some of the men in my comment section and I thought, I never do anything catered to them. Why not? It's about time, right? And I'm so glad that some of you um, sent me a comment or DM'd me on Instagram or something um, to let me know that you watch my videos so that I can do some male related perfume collection videos. In my collection, I have a few scents that are, you know, unisex and some have been marketed towards women, but I think would smell amazing on a man. The first one I'll talk about that is probably most obvious is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense. This is it right here. Uh, like I said, this is Light Blue Intense by Dolce & Gabbana. This is a fresh, lemony scent it is so beautiful like on a man it's clean it's fresh it's like a cloud of fresh air okay and it will leave a really nice trail when a man is wearing it there's something kind of spicy in there and i just love fresh clean spicy scents on a man there's nothing more that a woman loves than smelling a man well firstly nicely showered clean that is such a huge turn on this is amazing and it's a perfect summer scent um, for both men and women but since we're talking about men this would smell amazing um, I have let my brother wear this and he smelled really good in it I couldn't even recognize it I was like wow it smells amazing yeah and I picture obviously a grown-up man wearing this with like a, a low buttoned white shirt and like just summer grease vibes you know um, in this category also there is the Dylan blue for men this is Dylan blue uh, Versace for women and I also think this would smell amazing on a man this is green apple clean fresh let me see if I have anything else in this category I will also list some that I have either gifted some really popular ones that I can remember I loved um, I have gifted um, the aqua di jour by Giorgio Armani to my dad um, I'll put a picture up here that one is a spicy clean scent. I also loved Savage by Dior. For men, it's also a clean spicy scent. These are great signature scents as well. Creed Aventus for men would smell amazing on a man. I have smelt that on a man, but it was it was a stranger and I recognized what it was. Yes, those are some of the fragrances that I have smelt and liked on men that are clean and spicy. Chanel Blue is a nice clean scent as well. It smells like a sophisticated, clean man, you know? I have gifted that to my dad and honestly, I don't think I'll ever buy my dad um, Chanel Blue because 
his work is kind of messy and he he was wearing it so casually like i'm like no no not when you're around men all day no one's gonna really appreciate it you need to wear this when you're out with mom or something allure home spot is something that my dad would wear every day i think because his job is very like you know handsy grease and manly type of thing you know not office not clean not thai vibe allure home spot by chanel would be a great scent for those people that wear like bright yellow and green shirts to work like those men um uh, tradies but that's a little bit too expensive i think but um aqua du jour you know what i mean like any of those scents would be great um the chanel blue one is more like a thai sophisticated occasion I will put the pictures up here so you know what we're talking about. For signature scents, I would suggest from my collection, these would be great signature scents for men, okay? The first one is Coco by Chanel. Oh my gosh. This is more marketed towards women, but on a man, this is clean spicy okay ember rose animalic goodness the woody notes in here as well are really amazing i just think that this would smell really good on a man yes this would be a great signature scent it's not doing too much it's it's just Okay, it's not sweet, it's not too clean, it's not too spicy, it's not woody, too woody, like wood, like it's not too much of anything. This is so good. Ember, clove, uh, wood, woody notes, some sandalwood um, ingredient scents smell good on a man. Yeah. I have never smelt this on a man, but this is what I'm imagining never smelt this on a man though this is nirvana black this is a unisex scent but this is woody like vanilla balsamic violet goodness this would be his perfect nighttime signature scent i would love to know a man by this scent please this this is that scent that you just want to sniff his chest like because it's so warm it's it's so cuddly in the same category for nighttime as a signature scent elixir de because this is ember a little bit of orange in there as well but this is like warm and cuddly as well next category is like a sexy night out you know it'll sound like i have a lot of men in my life and i'm out here smelling men <laughs> i just go around sniffing people like that no that's not it when i go out like on holidays with my family you know i have many in my life like my brother my father you know things like that and then there's work you know you run into males um everywhere really they're everywhere i do have plenty of opportunities to smell different fragrances on men and some don't wear fragrances at all and like you think are they wearing a fragrance and no they just freshly showered and it's probably aftershave or something like that or it's their shampoo like you know a men's shampoo or it's just deodorant a Nivea deodorant or something and they just smell so clean so good you know and yeah so in my collection though this the next group of perfumes that I would recommend a man would wear um, for a nighttime sexy time dressed up um, going on a date trying to impress the opposite sex if he's into sweet scents because this is very vanilla based then Dior addict would be great also 
if the, he wanted, he could mix Dior Addict with Nirvana Black. Mix these two. I think that would smell really, really amazing. You just have to trust me. I think those scents are really likable when you're trying to impress, you know, you don't really know the person you're going out with that well. You wear those together. You just smell likable. It's safe, but it's so beautiful. And you will get a compliment. I can guarantee that. Let's say you're a bit of a sweet tooth as well um, as a man. Some men like to wear more sweet feminine scents-ish unisex. These are a great suggestions for gifting for a man as well. The next one is Oud Satin Mood. I think Oud Satin Mood is very sexy. Oud. It would smell amazing on a man dressed up for a nice dinner. I'm not talking a buttoned up shirt, no. It would be a little bit too suffocating. I feel like a little bit of the chest out, a little bit, you know? And that's for like a sweet tooth men. Next scent is Shagaf Oud. Now this is for someone who's into ouds and he wants a more sweet based oud. This smells like oud bouquet, but better. I would love to smell this on a man. And if you have this fragrance, let me know in the comment section if you've thought about it sprayed on a man. The next one is Amande Tonka for nighttime. This is a man who is more masculine, definitely. Um, Tonka Bean, he likes woody notes, but this is tux type of look, or this is like checkered pants, uh, loafers, maybe some leather on him somewhere, maybe a jacket. Um, this would smell really great. In a suit, I picture a man wearing Tom Ford Black Orchid, this is dark licorice, woody, woody notes in there. And this is a common one to find. So I suggest if you're a man, you try this. Or if you want to gift it to your man, you go try it as well. Unless you already own it, then you can share it with your man if you have one. In the same category, Tom Ford Noir. This is a boss man. If you've ever met one yeah this is a high achiever confident the same with black orchid I would love to smell this on a man I have not had the opportunity to because I feel like you need to be dressed the right way or like have the right personality the people in my life right now the men in my life well, my dad could wear this. I don't know. Maybe I'll get him to wear it and see how, how I feel. But it's kind of weird because I'm not trying to be attracted to my dad. <laughs> Lautre Oud as a winter scent on a man would smell nice. I actually think the flanker Lautre Oud would smell better. It's, it's not as concentrated so it would make a better scent on someone this one they would only have to spray a little bit so no let's go with the Lautre Oud flanker that would smell amazing on a man in winter winter my last suggestion here is Oud Majestu This would smell amazing in cold weather and winter. I will list some honorable mentions like Coco Noir oh, would smell so good on a man. And yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know that some of you know what's in my collection. So let me know if I missed a fragrance that you thought might be really great for on a man. Some scents are not advertised as unisex scents or man sense but smell would smell amazing on a man like i don't think that i need to go any further than that <laughs> let me know if you enjoyed this video and what you thought about it i enjoyed making it i really did 
it was something different and yeah because you guys are like commenting on my videos and you always say actually Rudy said in the last video that no the a few videos ago anyway he said oh Dior addict his sister used to wear also he said that he's gonna try some of the scents that I mentioned that are unisex seemingly um and uh, see how he feels about them I can't wait to give me some feedback on some of the perfumes that I've shown you that you have or will have the opportunity to go and try so without any more rambling thank you so much for watching hope you subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it leave me a comment if you can i would really appreciate that and i'll see you in my next video bye